Um, this is my second year. Uh, last year it rained a ton, but um, I, I got to go to the waterfall and do a bunch of stuff I couldn't do last year. So. Um, I came on this trip to get closer to my friends that go to CPC and um, to get closer to God and escape like what's been going on at home just to get away. Uh, I came to uh, strengthen my bonds with my friends and then also strengthen bonds with God and then bring that home and then try to keep getting closer to God. Uh, I came here because my, my, my best friend invited me back yeah, three years ago. So Jesus plays a pretty big role in my life for all the mysterious ways that he does his work. All the opportunities that I've been able to have, all the sights I get to see, all the people I get to meet, and it's all through him and I thank him with all my heart. Jesus is kind of like always there for me, like he plays a role like of like someone I can really depend on. When I need guidance on what to do, he's like always there and I know like I can count on him and turn to him. I'm sad to tell you that when I was in high school, uh, I was that guy who had Christ in my life. I knew Jesus. I had a relationship with him, but I walked by wounded people who needed Jesus every day. And just didn't care. <laughs> just didn't care, thinking, I'm glad I'm good with God. I'm glad I have a relationship with God. I'm glad when I die, I know I'm going to heaven, but <laughs> these wounded suckers, good luck. And I walked on by. I tell you, when I was a junior in high school, God, he wrecked my heart. He broke my heart into pieces. And I was convicted about my sin. And I tell you that after Buddy came to Christ, me and Buddy went back to that same English class. And this kid named JC, he was sitting on the other side. And me and Buddy looked at each other like, okay. And we just started talking to JC like, JC, dude, how come we don't really know you? We started hanging out with JC and one thing led to another. And listen to me, God radically altered JC's life and to this day, JC is in love with Jesus Christ. Not because of me, not because of Buddy, but because I listened and God convicted me about being the guy who walked by the wounded, who needed Jesus all the time like I didn't care. This trip and like the messages during this trip, they kind of just reminded me that God isn't a backup plan, but it's something that you should rely on always, no matter where you are. The thing that most impacted me was the worship time, especially when I just like heard everyone like singing together, even when the speakers went out. You could just hear everyone like singing together, like coming together. It was just a really cool experience. I think the worship impacted me the most because uh, I got to talk to Jesus verbally, like out loud with uh, a lot of people participating with it. Yeah, um, so originally before I started going to rock, I wasn't really uh, worshiping God. I didn't go to church that much. Uh, I did believe in the Lord, but uh, I didn't really do anything about it up till I started, people started to telling me to go to Rock. And then as I went, I really got into it. And during worship, I really got into it, small groups. And eventually, it, it's grown so much that now it's like my views, like on everything, have changed. At first, I thought I was just sad almost, like, I couldn't do anything about it, but now it's so much different. It's more like I'm able to uh, worship the Lord and be able to find His guidance to be able to bear through my struggles and be able to go on and become a different kind of person through them and become a better person. You know, maybe you came to Houseboats this week and you didn't even know we were going to be talking about this Jesus guy. But now that we've gone there, now that we're having that conversation, now that you're hearing about him, now that you're 
experiencing him in worship now that you're in his creation going, man, there must be a God who is powerful enough to create all of this. Maybe you're going, I can't deny any longer that Jesus is real. I don't want to live with this brokenness anymore. Maybe for the first time tonight, you would say, I want to invite Jesus Christ into my heart and life. I want him to become the Lord of my life. tonight to be the Lord of my life. I'm asking you to save me, to forgive me. I don't ever want to be the same from this moment forward because I want you to be alive in my life.